Well, hi, and welcome to my shop. And uh, yesterday, I was very fortunate. I went with a buddy of mine to a ham fest, and I managed to pick up this. This guy. With this power supply, I should be able to get some work going on some old car radios that are, are here for, uh, for checkout and repair. And as I found out the hard way, I couldn't power those radios with my existing shop supplies. So I managed to find this variable DC supply. We're going to check it out now and make sure it works. Uh, looks great. So let's see, voltmeter, ammeter. This thing uh, shows up to 20 volts and up to, say, about 25 amps. Then I see the dial becomes a little red there. What's it say? Your input, uh, regular 500 watts input, output, 6 to 15 volts. Oh, it doesn't go below 6. Wow, okay, so I need, I need 6 to power these car radios, the old car radios. That's good. 25 amps. Oh my gosh, this is a really powerful supply. <laughs> Built-in cooling fan. Thermal protection, overload protection, over voltage protection, overload precaution devices. What? Overload precaution devices. Okay, I don't know what that last thing is. Regulated power supply model PS 26K. Yeah, 6 to 15 volts. Oh boy, so I sure hope it goes down to 6 volts or oh, 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 oh. that could spoil my whole day. So let's plug it in here and see what we get from it. Okay, like any device I haven't operated before, I'll start it up on uh, restricted power, my light bulbs. Switch it on. Now the fan started right up in it. The voltage is saying five on here it's five what was that it's a little click in there fan goes up to a higher speed when you crank this up that's interesting so it's anticipating putting out more power when you get it up in the higher voltages and it falls to, on this, just below 6. Perfect. Let's put a, let's, uh, let's check the voltage. You know what, I'm going to use a more accurate meter to do this. Somewhere around six volts. Ah, uh, meter's right on, 5.6. So if I dial this to six on the meter here, right on six, what do we get? Slightly over six. Not bad. Not bad. Let's put a load on it. Some kind of light bulb would be good. are 18, 20, 28 volt light bulbs. Well, we'll get somewhere with these. Not much of a load. This one's glowing a bit. this up. <laughs> There's no way to do this without blocking the view. Okay, we're going up. Going up. Fifteen volts, you can see a little more glow in the bulb. 
nowhere near the 28 it's looking for. So this isn't the best. These aren't the best bulbs to do this with. I'm gonna find myself a, a strong. Okay, I've got an automobile light here. It's gonna take a little more power. There we go. Okay, so I'm hoping to see a, a rise in the amperage here. It hasn't gone up at all yet. So that's six. Let's take it up. That's ten. No rise on the amp scale here. Well, it certainly produces that output. Ah, it's disappointing. This meter doesn't work. Should we take a look at that or not? Oh, things I have to think about here. Is it worth trying to fix this or should I get on with the radio? Not be so worried about the current there. You can always hook up a different current meter here to, on a temporary basis anyway. You know, that's a good idea right now. Maybe the current is so low this meter is not seeing it. Don't think that's the case though. Let's find out. Okay, this meter is good for 20 amps. Saw that meter move. Yeah. Okay, meter's working. I'm just not drawing much power. And I'm drawing about uh, three quarters of an amp. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that's good. 100%. I think it makes sense to uh, bring in a car radio and let's get it going. Let's see what's up here. Hey, thanks for watching this little bit on the power supply. Onward.